Hey YouTube, um, I'm gonna be making the tutorial video and here yeah, what you have to do first. This is for AMD processors only and I'm gonna show you right now. First you load your setup defaults and you go to, well this motherboard is different but some boards have this. So first you look for your CPU configuration and you set it from auto to manual and down here it says plus or minus to change options this is supposed to be alright at 200 megahertz base clock your base frequency is your you multiply it by your multiplier as 13.5 multiplied by 200 megahertz that will give you 2.7 gigahertz stock frequency and when you raise that up to 223 you will get 3036 megahertz that will be your overclock but first you have to go to your hypertransport link and set your bandwidth to 4 bits. If you don't do this, if your motherboard would not post. So, you have to change that to 4 bit. Then you go to your chipset, North Bridge configuration, DRAM timing configuration. That is your memory timing or your memory speed. Uh, memory clock mode, you don't interfere with this. Oh no, is this one? Yeah. You change this to ma manual. And it's normally it will be at 400 megahertz. But to get your computer to post again, you have to send it 200 megahertz. 200 megahertz, yeah. Uh, next. Your monitor the you monitor your temperatures you leave it here for around five minutes maybe three minutes and you will see <coughs> you will see your temperatures increase and if it stays under 54 55 it's stable but I am using a certain point of the CPU where it can't go any further because you will have to increase your voltage but I can't increase my voltage because my motherboard the chipset is not able to it doesn't have that 140 watt CPU support so I would not be able to raise my voltages so I couldn't go to a certain extent of my CPU uh, there you have it 3 gigahertz on your AMD CPU alright guys 